Greetings and blessed Beltane. Happy May and mid-spring. For those who may not know, in the pagan northern hemisphere, we just celebrated another Sabbath, most commonly known as Beltane. We are celebrating nature in all of its blossoms. One interesting thing about paganism, since it's such a huge web of cultures and beliefs, is that these Sabbaths are celebrated differently depending on who you ask. Some pagans choose to celebrate Beltane when the sun is at 15 degrees of the Taurus constellation. Others celebrate during the first full moon after the hawthorn trees blossom. and many of us fixate the Beltane date on April 30th to May 1st, but the celebrations don't last there. There are Morris dancers and a maying, bonfire jumping, hand fasting, and maypole dancing, just to name a few. What does Beltane mean, you might ask? We are celebrating the sun god Belenos, where the name of this holiday is rooted from. There are close ties to the ancient Roman festival of Floralia that celebrated the goddess Flora to ask that she protect these new spring blossoms. It was celebrated with a myriad of games and festivities that could also be why we see so many different ways to celebrate this Sabbath. But at the heart of this holiday is always sexual energy, fertility, and blessings upon the coming agricultural season. Now on to our May Tarot reading.
This is read by the beautiful Marigold deck by Amrit Bar. This deck is inspired by Punjabi Sikh culture and was given to me on my birthday from my lovely partner Sandeep. This was honestly the best gift he could have ever given me because he himself is from Punjabi Sikh heritage and sharing his heritage with my spiritual practice means the world to me. We are starting with Ten of Rings. The foundation which all of this stems from is juggling personal affairs. We're trying to stay afloat, fitting into our community and society as best we can. We are desiring tradition, but no things are unpredictably changing. Where do we go from here? Our sprouts are with the Ten of Wands. We feel overwhelmed with this change. We sometimes feel like we are the only ones going through change, which morphs into a heavy burden to bear. This must constantly be remembered that this is only temporary. Sprouts will always grow into something else. The new growth we build off our tree is the High Priestess. She blesses us with her presence of deep intuition. Knowledge must be cultivated before it can fully bloom, she reminds us. We must learn from our past to gain knowledge of the future. A gentle nod to our spiritual future lies with the Hierophant. We are in good hands. We are only growing with wisdom and spiritual awareness. He also reminds us to pay mind to our mentors and teachers. We will blossom into our best selves if we find a little help from them. However, our spiritual selves lately have been a little clouded. We may have been in pain, in denial, or desolate lately. Feel humbled to know that our pain is reaching an apex and a new resolution will be soon found, hence the Hierophant. As for our physical future, we may find ourselves at a crossroads or a bump in the road. We must meet this issue with objectivity, do not fall to illusion. We may even need the help of others to resolve and move forward. Recently, our physical life has been pretty steady for the most part. We are nostalgic for better days, but are maintaining natural order as best we can. By the overview of the spread, it looks like there is more to come. Prepare for it. There is an amount of unpredictable potential at our feet. This is a gentle message that we must stay close to our community and council so we can continue to grow into our best selves and so we do not fall to mental illusions. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Thanks so much for gathering time with me, and I'll see you in the next one.